in Lanark took a young Scots lassie's life. Said Wallace, she must be avenged, that lassie was my wife. And truth is what that very neck the English lord was slain. Like many an English lord to come, he kissed proud Wallace's plain. But the spirit of Wallace lives on, though his body is dead and is gone. His banner will rise with the dawn, for the spirit of Wallace lives on. And then, proud Wallace, he went to war against the foreign he lived and fought in mountain tops where eagles dared not go. He took his band of men here, a small band strong but true. He set in the castle ton of fire, five thousand English he slew. But the spirit of Wallace lives on, though his body is dead and it's gone. His banner will rise with the dawn, for the spirit of Wallace lives on. At Stirling Break, he first arrived to face the English mind. He caught the four and four and two, and soon had them in flight. But then a bloody fogger fell, while Chargers slew his men. Horse and Wallace then to flee and live on mountain and plain. But the spirit of Wallace lives on, though his body is dead and it's gone. His banner will rise with the dawn, for the spirit of Wallace lives on. Surrendered by a traitorous Scot, he bravely met his fate. Said he, I've planted freedom seed, you've captured me too late. You've branded Wallace traitor name, and other Scots like me. I ask, is it a traitorous act to wish your country was free? But the spirit of Wallace lives on, though his body is dead and it's gone. His banner will rise with the dawn, for the spirit of Wallace lives on. King Edward's court then sentenced him to die in London. They hung him on the gallows tree, then quickly cut him down. They burned his entrails by his face, cut off each foot and hand. They butchered him, then sent the parts to towns throughout this land. But the spirit of Wallace lives on, though his body is dead and it's gone. His banner will rise with the dawn, for the spirit of Wallace lives on. The spirit of Wallace lives on, though his body is dead and it's gone.